ale, ginger ale to be specific. If there's one product that's <laughs> uniquely Detroit, it has to be Verner's. For more than 150 years, the famous beverage has been made right here in Detroit. In Detroit, so we wanted to flash back and take a look at a special collection that honors this Detroit classic. I like Detroit history, and I like the products that uh, you know Detroit produce. I think everybody has a Verner story that grew up in the Detroit area. My name's Keith Wunderlich, and I've been collecting Verner's memorabilia for 35 years at least. I try to create basically a 1940s type soda fountain here to display some of the Verner's advertising that I have. Love the brand, love its connection with Detroit. It is the history, it's the taste, it's still a very unique ginger ale compared to all the rest of the ginger ales that are out there. Um, the fact that it was a family owned company for the first hundred years, I mean, it's all of those things made it really special for the city of Detroit and, uh, and their advertising's pretty cool too. Werner's was made as a soft drink to be had by itself. Uh, whereas a lot of the other ginger ales that we taste, you know, like Canada Dry or something, that's a mixer. Um, and most ginger ales are mixers. They're not meant to be had just by themselves. But Verner's was always meant that way. And so uh, it was made stronger, it was made sweeter, it was made different than other ginger ales and remains very unique today. Really, without the Civil War, this might not have happened. James Verner, uh, worked in a drugstore in Detroit, Higby and Stern's drugstore, and when the Civil War broke out, he decided to uh, enlist in the Civil War. Before he enlisted, because he worked in a drugstore, and all drugstores had soda fountains at the time, uh, he was messing around with a ginger ale formula but couldn't get it quite right. So he goes away to the Civil War for four years and comes back and decides that he would open up his own drugstore that had his own soda fountain. And so he took out that cask of uh, ginger ale extract and all of a sudden it was perfect. And that four years of aging had mellowed the taste and made it much more drinkable than it had been without that mellowing. Um, and one of the slogans for many years was, uh, you know, mellowed four years in wood. What he was actually making and aging was was the syrup, was the extract, and so uh, then when that uh, when that's ready, uh, it's mixed with a seltzer water at the time. You know those old seltzer bottles that you see people squirting into a glass, so they'd fill up, you know, maybe an ounce of syrup, and then the rest of the glass would be uh, seltzer water, and that would make your Verners. Everybody has a story about stopping at the soda fountain before or after the Bablo boats. They had a drive-up service where you could drive up and have, uh, you know, waitresses come out to the car and, and serve you Verner's. Just a fantastic place. Just on one side of it, and it had three sides, it went, you know, on three sides of a, of a huge room, there were 12 different people waiting on folks from behind that soda fountain. That's how busy it was. That's the kind of place it was on a Saturday night. It was a fixture right at the foot of Woodward. It was something that everybody went to. Uh, it was a really famous and big part of downtown Detroit.